what's up guys welcome to my channel if you are new yet my name is divine i'm a musical five minominak drummer and a keyboardist i have been for many many years i started making these videos as a space for music lovers like myself to check out our favorite artists and break down some of our findings that make them so so fantastic make sure you follow us on instagram at the perseverance reaction in order to recommend the favorite singers for us to react to What's up YouTube? Hope you guys are feeling good. good. Today guys, we're back here with a new video guys. I'm see my beautiful guys. My name is Divine and welcome to the best right. videos guys. So they're going to be reacting to White Sister Found Prophet Muhammad name in the Bible guys. Mm. It says emotional. Let's give it a try. I know how it is guys. Talk less about it or react more. Let's get into this video. Mics. We have a non-Muslim. Okay, go ahead sister. Assalamu alaikum. I'd like to ask if you could shed some light on a verse in the Bible. It's the Old Testament, Solomon chapter 5, verse 16. It's the Hebrew text. Hiko mamitikim, wikulo Muhammadim, zidude wazara'i. Baine Jerusalem. I know that in English, Muhammadim has been translated to altogether lovely. What I'd like to ask is why do Christians not know that Muhammad has been spoken about in the Bible? Hmm. Well, the sister asked the question. She's given the Hebrew of the verse of the Bible from Song of Solomon, chapter number 5, verse number 16, which says, Hikko mamitakim vikulli muhammadim zaidudi zairai bayna Jerusalem. Which means, sister only translated one word, it means he's most sweet, he's altogether lovely, he's my beloved, he's my friend, O daughters of Jerusalem. This is the complete translation of the Hebrew verse she quoted and when it says Muhammadim Muhammadim in the Semitic languages when you give respect you add him to it like Allah is for God Elohim is respect for God the so same thing to the name Muhammad they add him and it means it says Muhammadim so hmm. if you read the original text the name of muhammad peace be upon him is even mentioned in the bible sister is asking then why don't the christians believe in prophet muhammad peace be upon him sister you should ask this question to the christians i asked this question to hundreds of christians alhamdulillah some of them accepted islam most of them did not so i agree with you that the name of prophet muhammad peace be upon him is mentioned in the scriptures of most of the major world religions, including Bible. And as I mentioned earlier, first time you're in this he mentioned my name, he's even prophesied in various different parts of the Bible. He's prophesied in the book of Deuteronomy, chapter number 18, verse number 18. Wow. In the book of Deuteronomy, chapter number 18, verse number 19. In the book of Isaiah, chapter number 29, verse number 12. In Song of Solomon, chapter 5, verse 16. He's also prophesied in the New Testament. In the Gospel of John, chapter 14, verse number 16. Gospel of John, chapter number 15, verse 26. Gospel of John, chapter 16, verse number 7. Gospel of John, chapter number 16, verse number 12 to 14. In several places, sister. So that's what I asked to the Christian. If it's clearly mentioned about the last and final messenger, Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, then why don't they believe in him? Those Christians who really study and analyze and do research, Alhamdulillah, they accept Islam. The others who do not want to accept the truth and say, oh, I have been a Christian for 40 years. Now you want me to change my religion? So they are afraid. Many a time the ego comes in between. Many a time the society comes in between. Many a time what will my friends tell me? What would my customers tell me? So these things prevent them from accepting the beauty of Islam. What they fail to realize 
they wouldn't mind offending the creator just to please their family and their friends pleasing our creator is more important than pleasing your family and friends so those who realize the importance of creator importance of almighty god alhamdulillah they accept islam sister i would like to ask you that are you a christian or are you a muslim i've been studying islam for about six months mashallah so do you believe now that there is one god i do do you believe jesus is god peace be upon him no i don't do you believe prophet muhammad peace be upon the messenger of god yes mashallah so if you believe there's one god you believe prophet muhammad messenger of god and according to me you are six months of research yes <laughs> your six months of research have brought you to the truth sister pardon i didn't hear you <laughs> those are tears of joy yeah. alhamdulillah <laughs> when a person realizes the truth that's what even Quran says that when people hear the verse of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the moment the believer, tears roll from their eyes. So these are tears of happiness and joy that you have found the truth. As Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, said in the Gospel of John, seek ye the truth and the truth shall free you. So I believe the truth has freed you today, sister. Your six months of research has brought you to the truth. Sister, would you like to accept Islam? <laughs> Sister, would you like to accept Islam? Yes. Is anyone forcing you? Absolutely not. You're doing a lot of your own free will? Yes. Inshallah, I said in Arabic and you can repeat it. Okay. <laughs> Ashadu. Ashadu. Allah. Allah. Ilaha. Ilaha. Illallah. Illallah. Wa ashadu. Ashadu. Anna. Anna Muhammadan Muhammadan Abduhu Abduhu Barasuluhu Barasuluhu I bear witness I bear witness that there is no God that there is no God but Allah but Allah and I bear witness and I bear witness that that Prophet Muhammad Prophet Muhammad is the messenger that is the messenger and servant of Allah and the servant of Allah servant, servant of Allah Mashallah sister you're a Muslim and I pray to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that as he has guided you may Allah make you a source to guide the other non-Muslims towards Islam and I pray to Allah to grant you the best in this world and the Akhirah and to grant you Jannah paradise, inshallah. Wow. This is my first time hearing about uh, the Prophet Muhammad is in the Bible. And I'm really shocked. Being a Christian, for all my life, like, I've never thought about it or raising it in such way like Prophet Muhammad is in the Bible. And I feel like I should go and check my Bible right now. I read the scripture, he mentioned it. The way he was quoting the Bible, like, I was very familiar with it. Like, he read both the Bible and the Quran. Quran yeah. I was very surprised. He just quoted it off heart. Yeah. Definitely going to make a lot of research about this. I'm going to make a lot of research about this. I'm trying to know more about Searching and knowing more about things is an eye opening because when you are being brought up, you follow the pattern of your family, your parents, your background, people around you. You want to just follow that pattern. Okay, they're all serving Christ, they're all serving Muslim. You just want to follow that pattern too. But if you make your own personal research and uh, try no more, you might feel like there's something not telling. So I'm going to make a lot of research and watch more of all these videos. I'm just speechless right now. 
because I'm very shocked that you didn't think about the video. Uh, when it comes to Muslim and Christianity, or I say Islam and Christianity, I feel there's a lot of similarities. So I'm not surprised to see um, Prophet Muhammad in the Bible. And it's kind of different for us because we read the Bible in English. Mm. So there's some words that are translated that you will not get um, the same, the actual yeah, from Muhammad. That's true. So you see, when she said it, she said it in Hebrew. Mm. So it was actually different from what we read in English. Mm, I so think. I think that's why. Yeah, that is exactly why. So I'm happy for her that she has found the faith she believes in and she's ready to work towards it. I mean, I feel. Either Muslim, Christian, any religion you are up to, in the end of the day, we are all serving God. We all believe that there is a greater part after these days, after life. We believe in loving our neighbor, we believe in doing good things, being kind, being caring. So I feel your way of serving is your way, is your belief. But in the end of the day, we are all serving, we are all being truthful, we're all being honest. And I feel that's what is most importantly. What Jesus preach about, he preached about love. So as long as you love your neighbor as yourself, you're doing a good thing. Honestly. Comment down below, guys. I'm going to make a lot of research about this. Uh, I feel like there's also Jesus Christ in Quran. Because yeah, yeah. Like for that, I've heard about it. A lot of my, my yeah. friends have said it. Jesus was a prophet or something. Yeah. Let's comment down below, guys. Your first time watching this video, how was your reaction? Give us a thumbs up. Share this video as many as can subscribe to YouTube channel, guys. You know how it is. We'll see you guys in the next video. Make sure you stay. Safe. I just bought a bag like an old lady. I'm back, wood smoking. I don't own papers. Pass that 808. That don't, don't shake her. Oh, bitch, you know I'm grinding like a pro skater. Baby, mama bugging. I'm so quick to hit ignore.